Hey guys, Jordi Elias here, and story time. So, I was watching some uh, some talks on GDC the other day, and I came across this wonderful, wonderful talk uh, about the art of Abzu, which was a game from the Giant Squid Company. Uh, it's the underwater game, that 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 wonderful, wonderfully uh, rendered game, and the developer uh, Matt Nava was talking about the challenges that he had to overcome to render the game because there was like hundreds and hundreds of fishes on the screen at the same time and he had to do it but what really called my attention on that talk was something called a portal guard what is a portal guard? it's basically a quad or a surface that simulates a volumetric fog like this guy right here you think that this green glow in the back is actually Unity's fog. Well, it isn't. It's just a quad facing the camera that's rendering that that fog right there. So in this in his game Abzu, he used this a lot to like draw the player's attention to a certain point on the screen or to um, increase the contrast between the foreground and the background. Uh, which is, this is a very use, very useful stuff. But the thing is, he was using Unreal Engine, so, and I use Unity. So I really needed this same effect on my game Gloria, and so I decided to research it. And unfortunately, I didn't find anywhere anything like it. So what I did was, well, since I was learning, I was learning to write some shaders for for this game. I decided to use my limited knowledge of shading and create something that could do the same effect and I actually pulled it off so now let's see how I did it and if you guys want to use this I will put the links of everything you go you're going to need uh, in the description so first thing you're gonna need is the shader the actual shader that produces this effect okay so here is the shader let me change to Visual, Visual Studio this is the shader okay it's called portal card and it uses three properties only and it's a basically it's basically a fragment shader it's a normal fragment shader very short fragment shader and that produces th that effect okay i'm gonna post a link on the description so you guys can get this shader if you guys want to use it okay so back at unity okay how do, do you use that shader in this case okay so right now, as you can see in this forest, uh, this side is dark, that you have this big volumetric fog right here. If I disable the quad, you see it all looks the same. There is no particular interesting feature anywhere, but with the quad activated, it immediately draws attention to that side, so which is the side that the player needs to go. And as you move closer, you see that it fades away, this plane fades away. Which means when the player is going there, when the quad already did its job, the quad disappears, like it fades away. How do you do it? Okay, so I'm gonna delete the quad and let's create the effect from scratch, okay? First things first, let's position a quad there. I'm just gonna left the quad here and just change the material to the default material which is what you get yeah when you put a place a quad in the scene that's what it looks like right using the default material okay so now i'm going to create a new material and i'm going to call this post portal card test so i can test for you guys Right now, the material is just the standard diffuse, standard uh, Unity material. And when I place it on the quad, nothing changes for now. So now I'm going to use the shader, the portal card shader. Okay. And initially, it's all going to be white. It's all this glowy white shader. Because we, I did not set up any of these properties. So let's do this now. Uh, well, the first thing is the color. 
which is basically the color of the effect. So in, in this forest, I want like a, a cyan, a cyan value. The intensity of the color determines the intensity of the emission. So I'm gonna put it right here in the middle and a little bit more cyan right here. So this is the color, the color of the effect. The second property is the depth fade distance. Basically what it does is if you if I increase this you see the changes basically what it does is it searches behind the quad for the surface and uses the depth texture to determine the alpha value of the quad so basically the more the closest to the quad an object is the more transparent the quad becomes but not entirely transparent that's that's some that's another thing that has to do it which is the fade length the fade length determines the the opacity, the, the alpha value of the, the quad by looking at the distance between the quad and the camera. So as I move closer, you see that the alpha, the, the quad becomes more and more transparent. So if I increase this value, the bigger the value is, the farther away farther away the camera has to be in order to produce a full fog effect. So if I decrease this value, see the fog, the fog increasing. And again, when you cross the quad, it becomes fully transparent. Or it's actually behind you. But the, the, this fade length actually produces a very, a very smooth fading. It doesn't it just doesn't just disappear. It goes very, very slowly to alpha zero, and then you cross the cross the the quad. So that's it. That's all you have to do is put a quad on this on the environment, place a material in here, which with the portal card shader, and then set up the three values depending on the scene, right? What are the drawbacks? What are the, the problems that you have with this? First, I'm using, if you, use my, if you see my camera, I'm using the deferred rendering path. Or deferred. Deferred rendering path. It works well with, with deferred. It, use, it works wonderfully. Right? Because, because of the second depth fade distance, needs the depth texture which on defer on deferred it's being generated by the camera right but when i change to forward it gets it gets completely diffused completely opaque because on forward rendering path the camera does not naturally generate a depth texture for us right so if i go to the shader you see that i on my shader I have a variable called camera depth texture and I need this texture but on forward the camera does not generate it so how do I circumvent this when you're using forward as your rendering path as my game does Gloria is using forward I have to take any script any script in, in this case I'm let me go back to Visual Studio I use the camera movement script which is the script that moves the camera around and I have a, a, a property and I call the camera my camera and I set this value from cam dot depth texture mode equals depth texture texture mode dot depth depth what this line of code does is force your camera to draw a depth texture even though you were in forward rendering mode so I put this uh, this call on start this line on start and it basically forces my camera to render my to render to create a depth texture so if you want to use this portal card on a forward rendering mode you need to add this line of code on any script telling your camera hey draw me a depth texture that's it 
that's all you need to do in order to use this effect on forward rendering uh, so you so my ask well, well you put the, the line right there so why is it all opaque well because the because the let me go back to unity okay because the that call right there was on start so I need to play the game in order to work so right now it's all diffuse but if I play as you can see right there it works as intended and when I cross it's all working so that's it guys that's how I created uh, this effect of portal cards in unity if you guys have any suggestions or you want to criticize my code feel free to do it I'm I'm really not that experienced on shading but I actually think it's a very nice working shader and if you uh, want to use it if you are a developer and you want to use this uh, this portal card on your project feel free to do it okay and that's it for today guys I hope I have more of my game to show you at some point so I see you the next time see ya